I think the Thermarest Polar Ranger is the best sleeping bag on the market for when temperatures start getting cold and you're winter camping. Not only does it have the insulation to keep you warm, but it has an arsenal of features that help you be more comfortable out on trail and on your trips when you're using this bag. But there are some negatives with this bag that may keep you from wanting to pick it up, but we're gonna start by talking about the good things. One of the things you might have noticed right away is this protrusion at the head end of the sleeping bag. This is called the snorkel, and what it does is it creates a pocket of warm air around your face in order to help keep your face warm. And this is essential when it's getting really, really cold out. The snorkel is made with a synthetic material, and because your breath is so filled with moisture, the snorkel being synthetic helps with moisture management. The rest of the bag is filled with 950 grams of 800 power fill down. That down is RDS certified, which is awesome. And then it's also treated with a hydrophobic treatment. So the down is not gonna be as, effect as affected with moisture and condensation compared to down that's untreated. After the snorkel, the next thing you probably noticed with these bags were these side zippers. So we have the main center zipper here, but then we have these side zippers, which actually go all the way through the shell into the inside of the bag. And what's nice about these is if you're using the bag in warmer temperatures, you can open them up and dump air. I've used this bag down to 20 degrees Fahrenheit and been comfortable. So with the bag's 20 degrees Celsius comfort rating, which is accurate, you have a really wide range of temperatures that you can use this bag. These armholes are also really nice if you wanna read when you're laying in bed or do any sort of other chores when you're in your tent. You can even use them to cook in the vestibule of your tent if it's really cold out. What's nice about the armholes versus opening up the entire bag in order to get your arms out is that you can do things with your arms out of the bag without dumping a whole bunch of heat. The bag has a center zip here, so not a side zip like a traditional sleeping bag. And I find this center zip is really nice. It makes it easier to get in and out of the bag. And then you can also use it to dump heat. It allows you to roll over onto your side as well and not be laying directly on a zipper. Another good thing about this center zip is that it zips from the bottom as well. So it's a two-way zipper. And what's nice about that is for venting, you can vent really easily from your lower section. And then combined with the arm zips, if you have to pee in the middle of the night, if you're a guy, then you might have a little bit of an easier time with that bottom zip. You can also see that this bag has gigantic baffles on the interior. It has really big baffles anywhere that you have a zipper. And that makes it so that you're not gonna be losing a bunch of heat to the zippers. I've had bags that don't have big baffles like this around the zippers, and you can really feel that cold air coming through the zippers. In addition to the zipper baffles, you also have gigantic neck baffles here, which is an essential feature for a cold weather bag. The main thing you're gonna be curious about with this bag is does it keep you warm? It has a comfort rating of 20 minus 20 degrees Celsius and then a limit rating of minus 30 degrees Celsius. I've taken it down to minus 25 degrees Celsius with only thin merino wool layers and was very warm, almost too warm at those temperatures. So I think this bag easily goes down to minus 30 with just thin layers, but you can take it down to minus 40 if you have a more robust system. But be careful at those temperatures. Make sure that you're easing into that. Don't just go pick up this bag and jump into minus 30 temperatures. Start off at something like minus 10 degrees Celsius then work your way up. And a pro tip for big bulky sleeping bags like this one, when you're using your backpack, line it with a nylo flume or a contractor bag liner, and then just loosely stuff this sleeping bag into the bottom of that bag. If you put, try to put it into a compression sack or a stuff sack, then it's gonna just really take up a lot of room and not be an effective use of the space in your backpack. The last good thing about this sleeping bag is the weight. It weighs 1.47 kilograms for the size regular, which is very lightweight for how warm this bag is and how feature rich it is. Moving on to the bad things, the first thing is a spec like the weight, it's the length. If you're really tall, you're not gonna fit in this sleeping bag. It has two different lengths to it. We have regular length right here, which is what I have. And you'll be good with the regular length up to being six feet tall. And then the long length, you're good in that one up to six six. But if you're taller than six six, or you just wanna put things in the bottom of your sleeping bag, then you're out of luck with the Thermarest Polar Ranger sleeping bags. It's also not the most durable bag. In order to achieve the weight that it has, it uses some pretty lightweight materials. It's made with a 20 denier polyester fabric. That polyester is gonna be less durable than if it used a nylon, but it's also gonna absorb less moisture, which is pretty essential for winter gear. And you can see right here, I caught a zipper on it, ripped 
that polyester fabric and had to put some repair tape on it. A couple more things that I don't really like about it. It uses a 60-40 fill pattern. So there's 60% more fill on the top part of the quilt than the bottom. And if you do move over onto your side, then you do notice the less fill on your back and you may get a little bit cold that way. It's definitely a sleeping bag that works best if you sleep on your back. And then the last bad thing is the price. There's no getting around it. This is a $700 US sleeping bag. It's not cheap, but it's definitely worth the money if you are investing into winter camping. It is by far the best sleeping bag in my opinion for winter camping with all the features and the warmth capabilities of this bag. Get this bag if you prioritize having the best sleeping bag on the market for winter camping. It's very warm, well designed, and for that reason, it gets a gear priority top pick award. If you want a really warm sleeping pad to match with your Polar Ranger, then go check out a review that I've done up there on the Thermarest X-Therm sleeping pad. I think it's the best sleeping pad that you can get to be warm and cozy on those winter nights.